Hello, I'm Chris Menard. In today's Excel video, this will fall under the Personal Finance category, also under the Excel category. I'm going to discuss the tax brackets we have in the United States. I'm also going to use Excel, Excel's X lookup function, to figure out what's your tax, what's your marginal rate, and what's your effective tax rate. I'm doing this with the 2021 tax bracket brackets. But if you watch this a year from now and you say, hey, we're in a different year than 2021, well, just go grab the tax brackets, and I'm going to show you where you get them from, from the IRS's website, and you just change the numbers to whatever year you need to see the tax brackets. Before I actually do this, um, these calculations, let's just talk about the tax brackets, what they are. In the United States, we have a progressive tax system. So you can either be single, head of house, married filing jointly, married filing separately. I'm going to keep this easy and pick on someone that's single. And I'm going to show you where I got these numbers in my Excel spreadsheet on the IRS's website in just a second. But here's what I mean by a progressive tax system. If by chance you are fortunate enough, if you are single and your taxable income was over $523,600, you would be getting taxed at a 37% rate. But if you're only making $9,950 in taxable income, you're only paying a 10% rate. Over $9,950, but up to $40,525, you're in the 12% rate. So that's what I mean by this is a pro progressive tax system. The more money you make, the higher tax rate you would pay for that portion of your income. So let's go find out where I've got these numbers from right here and these rates right here. This in column C, I came up with myself and I'll show you that. So here's the IRS's website. So the IRS website right up here is the URL. I'll put a link to this down below. 2021 marginal rates. Here we go. The lowest rate is 10% for income of single individuals. 9,950, so that's where I got that 9,950, 10%. After 9,950, it goes up to 12%. Then it pops into 22% for incomes over 4,525. So let's go look at that. Incomes over 4,525, it jumps to 22%. So a little unorthodox how I set this up, but this is how I set it up for this formula. So the 10% is 0 to 9,950. The 12% is 9951 up to 40,525. So all I did is type in these numbers, and then all I did is type in these seven different percentages. Now, over here is our first formula. That is the first formula to do. I'm just going to let you look at it. I'm not going to reproduce it because this file will be available to you afterwards. Another important point is your taxable income. This is not based on your gross income. This, these tax brackets are based on taxable income. Your taxable income is your adjusted gross income minus either the standard deduction or an itemized deduction. You can't do standard and itemized. It's one or the other. If you're wondering, well, what are the standard, item, standard rates for 2021? Here they are up here. Single is $12,550. Uh, head of household is $18,800. I'm just reading these numbers. And if you're married, filing jointly, $25,100 are your standard deductions for 2021. So if you're single, you really don't pay any tax until you have taxable income over $12,550. So there's that. So now here comes the cool part. Let's use Excel to figure out where, how much tax you would pay and what tax bracket you fall into. I'm going to keep this really easy to start off with and do 50000 So if you're making $50,000, you're in between these two numbers here, which means you're in the 22% bracket but you're not paying 22% on all of it. You're going to pay the 50,000. I'm doing this the hard way, by the way. 
just to explain how this works, minus 40525 so that $9,475 is going to be taxed at 22%, which is cell B6. So there's $2,084.50, and you're going to add to that number $4,664. So at $50,000 of taxable income, there you go right there. I'm going to put that in yellow. That's one way to figure it out. That is not my preferred method because if you keep tweaking this, like a, not, let's, not, let's say it's now 50000 it's 172000 I don't want you to have to keep doing the formula because now 172000 you're at the 32% bracket, and you got to go do the calculations again. So let's use Excel's X lookup to figure this out. Let's start off easy, and I'm going to make this 40525 exactly. That is going to be equals XLOOKUP. The XLOOKUP function is a fairly new Excel function. I believe only Microsoft 365 subscribers have it. If you're saying, Chris, I don't even have Microsoft 365. I'm on Excel 2019 or Excel 2016. You could substitute instead of the XLOOKUP, you could do a VLOOKUP for this. But I actually really love XLOOKUP. So I'm trying to find out lookup value, that number, comma, where is that number located? Whenever it says lookup array, it's always going to be in this example, these numbers over here. Comma, what do you want to return? I want to know if I'm making 40525 how much tax do I have to pay? I'm going to select these numbers here. Little note, if you were doing the V lookup, you would have highlighted A4 to C10. One thing about the X lookup is you can only select the columns you need, and that's one reason I love it. Comma, it says if not found, we're not using this argument at all. Comma, match mode, this one's important for the X lookup. We want to do the second item here, which is a negative one, which says exact match. Or next smaller item. So at forty thousand five twenty-five, I should get four thousand six hundred sixty-four dollars here. Let's see if I do. I do. You're saying, Chris, that was re easy. Well, we're not done because that was an exact number matching the number in the tax brackets. So here's my point again. If I change this to fifty thousand. I'm still sitting at 4664 because I haven't taken into account the month, the taxable income over 40525 So if you notice, that number in cell F4 does not match the number in cell F11. F11 is correct, by the way. So here we go. So I'm going to add to this. I need to figure out the difference of 50000 from 40525 that's going to be F3, the 50,000, minus the X lookup. I'm still referencing 50,000, comma. Comma. I want to return, actually. So I'm not only looking in here, I'm going to return that. So that's A4 through A10 twice. Comma, if not found, we're not using that argument. Match mode is a negative one every time on this one. That is done. I had one open print before F3, and I had one open print after the lookup F3. So there's one, two, so I closed it twice. That right there, from the plus sign all the way to the end, should give me 9,000, whatever that is, 50,000 minus 40,525. That is $9,475, I believe. And I'm going to take that and multiply it. I need to find the tax right now, which is 22%. Let's do what? This is the last one. And we're done. That. I'm trying to find it. That, this doesn't change that argument right there. But I do want to return the tax rate this time. $4,664. $4,664.
Fingers crossed. I hope I get $6,748.50. I do. It got rounded. 6748.50. 6748.50. What's cool about this now, I'm just going to lose the two decimals if you don't mind. Decrease decimal twice. What's cool about this is if I make this uh, 523.600, I should get 157.804. I do. So this is wrong now down below. So I'm going to get rid of that. If I type in 86.375, I should get 14.751. Here's some easy math for you. So at 86,375, you just hit what marginal tax rate? I hope you answered 24%. So every thousand dollars you make over 86,375 should be taxed at what rate? 24%. So let's test this. Um, $240, a thousand times 0.24 plus that number right there, 14,991. I'm going to add a thousand dollars to here, 87,375. Cool. So now you know if you're making over 86,375 that every thousand dollars of income is going to be $240 of tax that you need that you're going to have to account for until you hit what number? 164925. Once you're there, then it becomes 32%. So there's that progressive tax income feature again. Another reason that this will be cool to use if you have a regular job and basically you get paid the same amount every year and then all of a sudden you've got a side hustle, you do photography on the weekend, you're driving for Uber or Lyft and you're saying, hey, this is where I'm usually at, 40525 but now I've got this side job and I don't think I'm going to go over 86 You know that for every $1,000 you make, 220 is going to be taxed. So here we go. Last item is what is your marginal tax rate? I'm going to go back to the 50000 to keep this easy since we keep picking on 50000 I hope you agree with me. You should be falling in at 50000 to 22%. So that's one more X lookup. 50000 comma. This one's an easy one. That hasn't changed. Return. It's just the rate. Negative one. I should get 22% and I do. Your effective tax rate is going to be 67.49 divided by 50,000. So this is just a formula. There's no function here. It's just something divided by something and 13% or 13.5. There you go. This file will be available for download. If you are an accounting student or an accounting professor, a great exercise for your students using XLOOKUP. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a great day. Uh, feel free also to look at my other uh, personal finance videos. I'll put a link to those videos also. Thank you. Bye-bye.